Welcome, Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. Um, as some of you may have noticed already by the title, I am done with social media. Um, it has been a major stressor. Uh, I'm going to go through a couple of my reasons for why I'm leaving. Um, but you know, I've done this in the past, uh, you know, everybody deletes their Facebook occasionally and then just tops right back on, but this is a permanent thing and I've given it a lot of thought. Just got back from the doctor's, uh, visit today and, um, wasn't too pleased with the outcome. And, you know, I've, I've, I've put seven years of my life into this and it's time for a change you know everybody has seasons they go through and for the longest time you know i thought that i could change the world and i know that i already have so on that point you know a lot of what i dreamed about doing i've already accomplished um I've been, you know, cited by the United Nations, taught a class on using my research at Harvard University. It's, you know, climateviewer.com, the maps, the research, the weather modification history, you know, it's got its own life of, you know, it's got a life of its own. But um, as far as the social media goes, it's just a stress pot for me. Um, I log into Facebook daily to see 99 plus updates. Um, it, you know, there's no way I could ever respond to all the, all that anyway. Um, you know, about 50% of it's just, Hey, Jim, look at this 25% of it's, uh, you know, hater aid, um, from trolls and the other 25% is hater aid from fellow activists. So, you know, I don't, I don't need this shit. Um, I never did. Um, apparently I've got a fly wants to screw with me on a goodbye video. Mwah. Um, but it's really time that I break free from this, uh, you know, social media fuckery. Um, a couple of reasons, you know, as I already mentioned, it's, it's just highly stressful. Um, being an activist, especially talking about the topics that I do on climateviewer.com, you know, geoengineering, um, just pollution in general, nuclear radiation, privacy concerns, hacking, propaganda, lots of it been made about me, um, <laughs> harp, you know, people still don't get it. Serious clouds matter, Jesus Christ. If I have to talk about chemtrails again, I think I'm going to shoot myself because people will never get that. Um, there is a large community that is finally getting it, um, you know, my perspective on the whole thing. But at the same time, I've had more pain introduced into my life from the comments, um, you know, from not only the troll community, but the activist community they just doesn't want to hear the truth. Um, they are not interested in the truth at all about the subject or being pragmatic or solutions or, or any of that shit. It's all about, you know, being addicted to fear porn. So, you know, having to deal with those comments from social media drive me bad shit crazy. Um, and I have a stress related illness, you know, I'm also EMF sensitive. Um, you know, I'm getting phone calls on my, you know, cell phone. I got one today from a guy who said he was a targeted individual. They're microwaving the shit out of him. And I'm like, uh, you know, I understand you being microwaved and stuff. And I know that these things do occur. But, you know, God forbid, if they're going to microwave anybody, they're going to microwave the guy who has the world's only NSA spy facility map. Um, and I actually had an incident where something like that occurred while I was on my beach vacation. I was 
interviewed by an NSA guy and shortly thereafter heard voices in my brain and felt my feet lift off the ground and wanted to jump from the sky rise and realized that that wasn't coming from me and that kind of shit scares the hell out of me. So I don't need that kind of stress in my life. That's number one point. Um, you know, talking about this stuff, trying to educate people on it. Yeah, I've done my part. I'm more than done my part. You know, weathermodificationhistory.com is the most accurate, comprehensive website on the subject, period. Um, you know, 800 newspaper articles going back to 1890s. Um, you know, the technologies, patents, interviewed my hero, Dr. Jim Fleming, the world's top historian on weather modification. He agreed, yeah, my solution for all of this is a real thing and should happen, the Environmental Modification Accountability Act. I've tried to make peace with assholes like Dane Wigington, Russ Tanner, and Matt Lamon to no avail. Um, you know, they are my mortal enemies, apparently. There's nothing I can do to change that. And that's not what I ever wanted. I mean, when I started out doing this stuff, I was just resonated, you know what I mean? R-E-Z-N-A-D. Um, nobody knew Jim Lee, and that was the way it was supposed to be. I was anonymous. And, you know, I put myself out there um, because I thought that it would help, you know, people believe me. You know, that it would change minds and hearts and, you know, that people would take it more seriously. But at the end of the day, um, the more you put yourself out there, the more, um, you know, pain you will incur. It's just a natural phenomenon that the internet can be very cruel at times. And I don't really want to deal with that. You know, I never really wanted to deal with that. Um, I just wanted a simple life and be able to do my good turn. And honestly, the social media, it, it can eat up all of your life. Um, you know, to the point where, you know, you're checking it, you know, I wake up first thing in the morning and the first thing I want to do is go see, you know, what's going on, um, you know, on Facebook, Twitter, I got, you know, 13,000 followers on, you know, YouTube and does it really matter? I mean, YouTube's actually censoring every damn thing I put on there. I mean, I got 13,000 subscribers and ad average uh, you know, a thousand or so views. So, you know, we all know about the censorship aspects of this. We all know about the pain, um, that, you know, gets dealt out uh, on the regular by haters in the community. And, you know, I catch the most flag for just talking about jet fuel. You know what I mean? Something as simple as airline pollution. They're like, Oh, well, you don't believe in chemtrails, but you take money from chemtards. Um, I don't need that shit. You know what I mean? I never did. I never wanted to. Um, but really, that's become a fact of life. And, you know, for the last five years since I quit my job, I was working at a tire company um, doing IT, and I chose to leave there. And I was making close to, you know, $50,000 a year doing that job. And I chose this life, um, you know, thinking that, hey, maybe I could, you know, to be one of these big YouTube stars or whatever. And, you know, every single year I've gone through this period where I've said, you know, I don't really want this at all. Um, I don't even know why I'm doing this anymore because... People are so addicted to the, you know, fear and, you know, that really I don't, I don't fit into the mold, you know, of, you know, real solutions and, you know, activism isn't as cool as you think it is. <laughs> you know, if you really want to make money on YouTube, put some cats up there, or be funny or play some music, you know, maybe you'll make some money. Um, but that this was never supposed to be about money you know what i mean but at the end of the day i have two you know beautiful young daughters and a beautiful wife and i want a beautiful stress-free life so i'm really getting to the point where you know 
I've got to cut back on this activism thing. Um, you know, it's become, you know, it's a labor of love. And, you know, I average 40 to 60 hours a week worth of work on these three websites, social media and otherwise. Um, I just did an interview uh, yesterday on the Truth Underground on New Orleans Radio. Um, you can check that out. Here, I'll drop the link in chat for you guys. Um, and tomorrow, I'm supposed to be on the Quite Frankly podcast. Um, some of you may be familiar with him. He's very popular. You know, over 10,000 followers on Twitter. Um, going to be a pretty epic interview. But at the same time, you know, I've been surviving on close to $400 a month, you know, $500 a month for the last two years. And that just, I mean, you can't live off that. Yes, I don't pay rent. My, you know, my father gave me a, a home to live in. So that's great. I don't have that problem. But I think you can imagine that living on $473 a month ain't really cutting it. And then you add to that my, my thyroid issues. Um, I had a doctor's appointment today. Um, you know, I, first time I've seen an endocrinologist since I turned down um, my you know th complete thyroidectomy where they wanted to cut my thyroid out. And what did this endocrinologist say of course the exact same thing no we really need to cut your thyroid out as soon as freaking possible and you know despite you know the, the outpouring of support you know twenty six hundred dollars goes real quick when you're trying to eat organic and you you know people have sent me juicers and you know all kinds of books and i've gotten you know all the education i possibly can about you know epstein bar virus and hypothyroid hyperthyroid and you know going through all the loops but you know right now i've got an immunotherapist who's offering to do work you know work with me for free but i would have to pay for all of the blood work and you know none of that would be covered by my medicaid so we're talking 300 to 400 dollars a test and probably one, you know at least a test per month for the next year to try to cure my graves disease naturally which i clearly cannot afford um so really i mean when this all comes down to it you know um my wife has supported me through thick and thin um Kelly is the best wife a person could possibly have. I've been with my wife for 19 years now. She supported me when I was making video games. <laughs> um, I spent a year making uh, you know, a mod for Rainbow Six. Got an offer from Red Storm Entertainment to work there because they love my mod so much. I was doing 3D Studio Max. Um, making th first person shooter maps. I made some maps for Unreal Tournament. Um, you know, then it was massively multiplayer online gaming. Me and my wife both got into that for three years, swore we'd never do it again. And, you know, for the last seven years, it's been climateviewer.com and weather modification history and, and mapping all this stuff out. And really, I'm at a point where, you know, my kids are growing up fast and, I want to be able to spend my time, you know, in that Boy Scout uniform again. Apparently, they've let girls into Scouts now, and my daughter's thinking about being a Scout, so hell, I might go be a Scout Master. Imagine that, Jim Lee Scout Master. Um, but really, you know, I'm at a point where I'm tired of asking for handouts. You know, I have I have pride, you know what I mean? And asking people for donations, um, every time I do it, it's there's there's a little bit of shame in it. I mean, I'm just being completely bluntly honest with you, you know, um, whether it be the Patreon or the GoFundMe stuff, um, it's just this is not the life that I thought I would be living right now, and 
yeah, it pays my power bill and my cable bill. And we have a couple dollars left over to, you know, buy some extra organic food. But, um, you know, when the thunder rolls, <laughs> you go indoors. And when, when you can feel the winds of change coming, you either stand firm or you blow away with them. And, and I really feel the winds of change coming. So for me, um, you know, this was a dream um, to really get the truth out there about weather modification, about the fact that, you know, all of our weather is controlled and, and arm people with facts. And I believe that, you know, I've done that. Uh, the problem is that it's a constant struggle. Um, and just to give you guys an example, um, this is what it looks like from the backside. So, you know, total this month, 58,000 hits on all three websites combined. Climateviewer.com today, 526 whopping hits. Yesterday, 800. You know, 345 hits on my freaking map, which I've spent seven years making. And only 165 hits on weathermodificationhistory.com. Now, with numbers like that, that's a thousand for the whole day, 1,400 for yesterday. I understand that, you know, 1,400 people, there are a lot of people who would be very happy with that, you know, sort of following. Um, but at the end of the day, all the all the decks are stacked against me you know what i mean if i were selling fear porn if i were busy making up bullshit on a daily basis i'd have two hundred thousand subscribers on youtube and you know there'd be hundreds of thousands of hits pouring into my website and maybe i would have been able to make enough money off of the websites to you know continue to do this full time but this has become a serious stressor for me. Um, you know, spending, I mean, literally, some, t some weeks I spend 60 freaking hours working on this stuff. And, you know, I'm not doing it anymore. And that's just the bottom line. I've seen my 60 hours worth of work turn into so many fear porn videos hijacked by other individuals that just use it without any credit going back to where it came from that i feel like at this point i'm just supplying an industry of bullshit artists um with ammo and you know i'm done with that um and does that mean that i'm done with activism altogether i don't think i could ever truly quit but i can certainly cut off a major stressor for me and that is Facebook and Twitter um, and basically just ignore for the most part even the comments on YouTube um, you wouldn't believe some of the shit I have to listen to so I'm really at a point now where um, I'm you know trying to reevaluate what's most important to me and what's most important to me is my family and I want to be financially stable for the rest of my life you know and, and be able to take care of my family and really go out and do things for a change and the only way I'm going to do that is if I go get a job and that will be a full-time job and it'll be in probably web design because I've become very good at web design now um you know, I was offered a job two years ago, $65,000 a year, starting pay um, in web design. And, you know, I was like, nah, you know, I'm still going to give this Climate Viewer thing a chance. Um, you know, even as, as, as early as last month, I was considering putting a shop up on Climate Viewer and selling t-shirts and, you know, investing in, you know, getting some, you know, selling advertisement and all this stuff and all of it makes me sick to my stomach i mean it's just the honest to god truth like that's not what i want to be that's not what i want to do and the internet is a fickle bitch 
and they can love you one day and hate you the next and it's not something that's reliable and you know with me with this thyroid issue it's stress related and a lot of my stress comes from not knowing from day to day whether you know the patreons will all disappear will i get a donation um are there any hits coming into the website did somebody make up some new bullshit about me online that i need to go um you know put the flames out um you know and i'm you know i was born in the year of the dragon i'm a scorpio i don't take you know shit off of anybody and i don't respond well to criticism about my character and you know after watching the brad kavanaugh hearing today um you know and listening to the you know character assassination i've dealt with it i've been through the ringer um many of you may know about the whole you know dutch sense thing i went through with the 500 youtube videos and the porn penises in my mouth videos and the 2000 tweets to my police department that i was a pedophile and you know 17 death threats in a year um per year um you know it's it's constant um so i can only imagine what brad kavanaugh and um dr ford are going through you know i can only imagine on that large of a stage and that's something i would never want um i don't want to be famous <laughs> that's the, just the truth of it so you know like i've said before i ain't your info fucking tainment um i was just trying to do you know what i thought was the right thing and the more and more i realize that that sometimes you get caught up in ego and sometimes you do things for likes and at the end of the day you know everybody needs money so sometimes you do things for money but i, I have never compromised any of the content on my website just to make a buck um and i never will and at the same time i don't want to make climate viewer into a business um even though i have a climate viewer news llc and you know i have a business bank account assigned to it the thought of you know filing taxes on it and you know doing all of that legal bullshit just it makes my head spin it's not something i ever wanted to do um not going to do it so really where i'm at is i'm going to be deleting my facebook and twitter i probably will delete the pages associated with it too so i've got facebook.com slash resonated and facebook.com slash climate viewer 5,000 likes <laughs> deleted twitter you know twitter.com slash resonated twitter.com slash climate viewer gone um and then i won't have that distraction anymore um it's gonna really piss the trolls off because they won't have anybody to respond to and as far as my websites go i don't i don't plan on deleting them i plan on them being right where they are the difference is um that i'm going to devote way less time to this you know endeavor because it's time for me to you know get a you know real job as they say and you know i've already started looking and there thanks to donald trump a plethora of jobs available um for someone with talents like myself so um i'm gonna i'm gonna get a web design job more than likely and have copious amounts of money so that i can take care of this here thyroid and keep this brain stress free and go back to doing the things that I really loved, like coming home and turning on a good first person shooter and getting a whole lot of headshots. Headshot, headshot, headshot. Um, and de stressing, because for me, that's fun. And when I have time available, 
and I choose to do so, I will make a video and I will put it out on the YouTube, which is censoring it all anyway. I've got a bit tube and a real dyed video, but you know, that's pretty much what I'm going to do is make a couple maps, put a video out when I feel the need to and focus more on, you know, changing my entire life and making it stress-free like it was before I started all this shit. And that, that leaves you guys with a challenge because at the end, and there's my fly. It's back. Um, that leaves you guys with a challenge because, you know, I've, I've put all the solutions out there. You know, I've been pragmatic about this. And, you know, I've, you know, said from the get-go, if you want to do something about weather modification, this is about all you're going to be able to do. And it's called the Environmental Modification Accountability Act. I'm, I'm going to personally challenge all of you to, to figure out how to make this a reality. Because I'm not going to get sick anymore flying around. Um, the last two times I went and flew, um, I flew to the weather modification conference in, uh, Austin and recorded all those, um, interviews, uh, with, you know, the actual geoengineering scientists themselves and cloud seeding scientists. Um, you know, I was sick as a dog from fume events. The video I was going to do tonight, <laughs> oddly enough, was about fume events and you know uh i had all these links put together you know toxic air events happening more on flights than reported and you know the list just goes on and on fume incidents and yeah you know, this is what happened to me in january it happened to me when i went out to ed griffin's thing in arizona so you know i have an immune de a depressed immune system and it's caused by my thyroid um, or my thyroid is a symptom of it but regardless um, I can't be flying around the country like all of these other guys that want to be famous and I never really wanted to um, I took a train up to Washington DC um, to speak at that EPA hearing and I was scared as hell the whole time because you know that just not what I saw for my life, you know. Um, so you're not going to catch me flying around, especially with toxic air, um, doing things like killing <laughs> um, people, you know. And this is exactly what happened to me. You couldn't see the smoke, but I could smell engine oil so strong that it was insane. By the way, that's a pilot who died from aerotoxic syndrome. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll save this video for another night, but regardless, I experienced this back in January and I had pneumonia for two months straight and went to the ER and all kinds of things because I couldn't breathe. Um, so really at this point, I've got to de-stress. I need to walk away from this for a while. Um... And I hope that you guys will really dig into the websites. Um, if you want to stay in touch with me, you know where my websites are. They have discussed comments on them. I also have a chat. You can go to whether, you know, any one of my websites and jump on the chat. It's right up on the top bar. You can see it right here. It says chat. Click that. It'll take you over to the chat room. Oh, wait, what is that? It doesn't want that. Anyway, I have a Discord chat. And you guys can hop in there. And um, that's where I'll be at. I don't know, maybe. I don't normally log into it from there. Let's just do this. <laughs> you guys can log in through the website. I have the app. But regardless... I'm not going to be on Facebook and Twitter because I'm just tired of the people that are there. Um, 
Not you guys in chat. I love you, mean it. I have many supporters that have really, you know, helped me out over the years, offered me good advice and all of that stuff. But I really got to whittle down this internet thing to a minimum so that I don't have so much stuff to keep up with. And this is the Climate Viewer chat. I will continue to check it. Um, I will continue to check my email. My email is jim at climateviewer.com. And I will continue to make videos. Um, and you can catch them on YouTube. Links are on the sidebar, climateviewer.com. Let's just put it that way. Okay? So, you guys can dig into those. There's YouTube. There's BitTube and Real Dot Video. Gonna still make videos. Won't be as often as they used to be. Um, but the social media stuff... I'm done with it. And um, I really got to, you know, get my feces consolidated so that I can have enough money to afford to try to fix this thyroid before they do cut it out. Because right now, my next appointment with my endocrinologist is in December. And despite me going, hey, you know, I've shrunk my thyroid by over two and a half inches in two months. And. I'm on no thyroid medication whatsoever right now, and I feel wonderful. Um, she literally shushed me. <laughs> I was like, I wanted to punch that doctor in the head so hard. Um, it's insane. But regardless, um, if I am to fix my health-related issues, stress is at the top of the list. And hearing from people on a daily basis about being targeted and microwave, microwaving their brains and you know, just this life, it's, it's not the life for me. Um, so I'm going to be making some major changes. I will leave this video up for a little while before I delete the Facebook, but don't expect, uh, this Facebook page to last much longer or my Twitter pages. I will take them off the top of climateviewer.com because they're going to be gone. Um, I would love to delete the YouTube also because I absolutely abhor Google. Um, but unfortunately, like 80% of the articles on climateviewer.com have a YouTube video embedded at the top of it. So unless I want to make a whole lot of, you know, more work for myself, <laughs> I would literally have to go through 230 articles and replace all those videos by hand which is not some new project that I want to do anyway. Um, so the YouTube will stay till they kick me off of it or I just, you know, get tired of it. Um, <laughs> but needless to say, I just wanted to be frank with you guys. Um, I, I don't, I don't like asking for donations. I never did want to, I don't like selling products. I don't want to be, you know, I, n I never wanted to compromise myself to make a buck. And apparently, if you want 200,000, a million subscribers on YouTube, you got to talk about the wackiest, scariest shit and put clickbait titles and or porn in the preview. And that just ain't me. So I don't fit the mold. I don't fit the model. Um, I was just about all the facts. So... You can rest assured that my websites will continue to be here. Um, when I recover my health, who knows? Maybe I'll come back and push even harder on all this stuff. I'll probably still do interviews occasionally. You, they will be in the interview section on climateviewer.com. You can see all the interviews I ever did right here in the interview section. Um and and that way you guys can keep in touch you know leave me comments oh gotta love that and this is the other kind of shit i have to deal with they're constantly trying to hack my website so there's my interview page and you can see show archives richie allen show um i was on with mike morales ground zero with clyde lewis um you guys can look at you know, all the shows I do will be on here. If anybody wants to get in touch with me, Jim at com, 
I'm taking my phone number off of here also because I don't want any more phone calls. Um, I hate my cell phone. I may smash it tomorrow. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that's just the real, real me. I'm, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to cut way back on this stuff. And um, I hope that you guys can see through the bullshit because... Especially when it comes to chemtrails, I've dealt with nothing but pain and agony from the fellow activists, um, you know, over the years, um, the YouTube mafia, <laughs> the AdSense mafia, um, you know, I'm done with that stuff. So I'm going to stick to doing what I like to do, and that is mapping. I'll put maps out occasionally. I'll put a video out occasionally. And you'll have to check climateviewer.com because I'm not going to share any of that shit. If, if it truly resonates, somebody else will share it. So if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, you're going to have to come to my website. It's just that plain and simple. So I'm going to leave it in your hands to do the sharing for me because I can't, you know, I can't go and do this anymore you know i can't keep up with the updates um it's about to drive me insane so with that being said guys i love you mean it um me deleting my social media is a great way for me to clear my head and clear my plate and let me focus on the things that need to get done like you know getting a job and getting the hell out of this financial hole that this thyroid is making for me and i hope that you guys will continue to stay tuned to climateviewer.com um maybe i'll actually make use of the newsletter <laughs> on my sidebar so uh maybe check you know sign up for the newsletter i'll send some emails out to let you guys know what's going on, you know, when I put stuff out and that sort of thing. But the days of me um, trolling on Facebook and Twitter and going through countless posts and getting tagged and all of that stuff is over with. So, like I said, love you, mean it. Um, not gone for good, just going to take a break. And I'm definitely getting rid of the social media, so... Continue to check out climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com because information is powerful. And I hope that you will use the information on my websites to attack ideas, not people, because I'm really sick of being attacked for my ideas. <laughs> Love you, mean it. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> oh, and if I don't see you again, <laughs> good morning. Good evening and good night. <laughs>